Ya. Ahí está grabando ya. Sí. What's going on guys? I'm back here in Guatape, one of my favorite places here in Colombia. And I'm here to visit an old friend. Matter of fact, that might be him right there. Let's see. Baby! Yes it is! <laughs> Damn, baby! <laughs> What's up? What's hey, up? Brother, brother. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Last time you picked me up, you was in the back seat. What are you doing driving? <laughs> Dude, moto taxi. It's just it's it, this is considered like just a it's a Yo, last time I saw you, you got hair now. What's up with that man? Yeah, let's get the car. Alright, man. I got jokes, I see you Let's get in this car. Alright, yo. Yeah man, bought bought this a year ago. Um just Look at this, look at this, look at this! Yeah, they, they about to do get something a, on the Get a room! Get a room! Hey! 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 That was passionately. It, it was going down in that pool. Guys, uh, the name of this resort, I, I know you just probably seen like the beginning, but uh, it's called Majestic Resort. I'm gonna show you outside. Right here. Keep driving, keep driving. Yeah, I got the sign. So here's the sign of the place right here. Really good resort. If you are coming to Guatape, um, really close to the rock area. It's one of their bigger resorts here. You find some kind of better the Biggie's, baby! Oh. Biggie, we going to Biggie's spot. You already know he has his restaurant, but he moved to even a better location. So we're gonna go check out the new location right now. Um, yeah, man. Uh, this is super dope. I think it's his location is somewhere right here. Right here. Right here. Literally on the razor. Stone right here, baby. Stone. Yeah, Twice. you can see the stone right there. And then I think his restaurant is here somewhere. Yep, sure it is. You got the gas station right here. The stone up there. And his restaurant is literally behind the gas station. Oh. Right there, that's him right there. We're gonna check it out. We got the sign. There you go. <laughs> Sam! So, hey, this place looks nice, man. Oh, uh, you have no idea, man. I did uh, put my toes in it. You can't beat me to speak. I meant breakfast. All right. Okay. I got eggs, mama! We don't have you open yet. <laughs> We're not even open. Okay. This is what's up. I love it. Ah! All right, wow, yo, this is impressive, man. Let me check out the artwork you got here. Oh, look at the artwork. Oh, man. Hey, the, the guy got your hair? <laughs> he got your hair on your, the, the, the tattoo at the top? Put up the, put up the television. Okay, oh, okay, oh, oh, oh. nice. Okay, oh nice. All right, oh, so yeah, I guess they're opening right now. And this is uh, Valerie right here. Hola, this is uh, the wife now. This is the, <laughs> this is the wife, no longer the, the girlfriend, the wife now. The wife. Wow, that's what's up, what's up? What's up, big time, you know what I mean? Times, times, times. Mucho tiempo, mi amor. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of time together. They have a lot of time together. So you are getting ready to open yeah, up. Yeah, I'm ever open. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go. The motor taxi. Let's go. All right, all right. Let me just uh, show a little bit more of this place. So if you are coming to Guatape, come out, hang out. But we're gonna Socolo, go to. Socolo, Socolo. What is this? Guatape is the most colorful city in the world on earth. Yeah. And it's amazing because Guatape is just colorful. In every home. Here in Guatape, yes, they do we, these statues like that. In yeah, just a, a guy on a donkey, you know what I mean? A guy on a horse, dogs, you know, it just, it's a trip. It's, but priceless! So what's a trip is, 
uh, Valeria, my wife, she's like Sokolo, Sokolo. So now I have the first American Sokolo in so this country. The, okay, uh, in the country. In the country of Colombia. That that's you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, man. You're crazy. It's, it's Look at this, man. Look, look. <laughs> oh man. Man, you did it with this one, man. I've been to, we've been to uh, other restaurants he had. This one right here, by far, the wow. nice setup. On the water. Oh, the man. Water. Ace, Ace Julio, Julio. Water park right there. Water oh, yeah, park. I see it actually. There's a water park there, way. Helicopter ride. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then the you know, horses. I mean, it's crazy, man. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. Okay. This is uh, super dope. And so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna also pin this restaurant because I know a lot of guys will be like, where is it? I'm having a hard time. I'm gonna just pin it. So you go in the description, you click the link, and it's gonna bring you right here, okay? All right, cool. So you can food, baby. come out and get some food. Matter of fact, um, to be honest, I, this is not my first time. I came here yesterday, right? So I saw it, everything. That's why I, we were like, we know we did the intro and everything. But when I came here, there's a lot of people that drive up this way because, uh, hey, is this the way to the rock? Yeah, this this is the original. This is the original location for the rock, right? Right here. They have another location, but this is the original location. Because we'll see so many people walking up here um, and driving up here. So if you're actually coming this way and you want to get some, um, some American barbecue style food, so come here. They look at this place like ex exotic food. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's unique. You and they I mean? literally oh, come here and sit down South and get some of that. Um, have some <laughs> southern barbecue, some barbecue wings, you know what I mean? So let me look See. inside. Let me show you a little bit inside. Oh, we're not open yet, but, but honey, he's coming. Like, get her, get kinda, her. It's kind of dark right now, guys. It's not, they're, you know, they're getting ready, everything open. But most of the time on your weekends, it's going to be super heavy here. So just, just know that if you come on the weekends. But if you come on the weekdays, you got time. Why not come out here and show some love to Binky? All right. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. Yes, sir. Nice, yes, sir. nice, yes, sir. nice. So, guys, I'm minding my business trying to do something on YouTube. Bring, Binky brings me this huge <laughs> tamale right here. Tamale, it's baby. And it's, it's, man, it is good, man. Beef or pork? Oh, man. Come on now, baby. Yo, with the sour cream. What is this? Uh, what is the consistency? Well, it, I use a, my corn, beef, but what, what's amazing, you guys, Bob, just not the, the pork, and you could also have the beef, you know what I mean? Look at that. The nice, this chunk it's of meat is so savory, guys. Ah. Oh my gosh, look at it right here. Ah. Come on now. And what, 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 I, do, what I do is, Sour cream, that sour cream, that sour cream. Mm. All right. Look. <laughs> I love you so much. Honey, I love you. Guys, so this is the town square of San Rafael. Um, this is actually where Binky lives, but it's like on the outskirts. He lives in um, like in a finca area. But I thought I'd show you how this place looks. Um, the city is actually just recovering from maybe a, a crazy weekend of partying. It's still New Year's, and yeah, uh, I think it's like the tenth right now. And they partied hard for a couple of days, way past New Year's. So you can see here's the sign right here. And uh, yeah, I'm actually waiting for Big E. Uh, so we can just drive around town, just look at um, certain sites in town so you get a good idea of how this place looks. Uh, like I said, this is the town square. So they have all these bars set up here. And man, at night, this place comes alive. And as you can see, this is the stage where they had the crazy, amazing performance. I'm not sure if they're done. They still have the stage up. So who knows? But uh, yeah, beautiful city, small, I like it. And um, seems like there's really good people here. And there he is. Baby boy! What's going on, what's going on? Where y'all gonna be bringing me today? 
Okay, the tunnels. So now we're going to the river. Let's go to the river, man. We're going to just ride around. Just ride around the city. Okay. All right. Hi. What's up? What's up? How are you? Good. All right. There's things you want to show me around the area here as we uh, drive through. Let me know. All right. Sure. Well, this is the town square again, guys. Yeah, this is where, and what they're doing, really, tell them what they're doing with this church in the last like, three they're months. They're making some renovations. They're doing what? On the, on the church? Mm-hmm. They're making Mine's renovations. Did you win yet? No, I didn't. Wow, you guys. Yeah. All right. So this is like a tourist town, right? Yes. Of course, uh, when you have Colombia, you, you know, you have Cali, you have uh, Santa Marta, you have Cartagena, but um, what is amazing is uh, San Rafael's known for the monkeys, the wild monkeys, um, and I'm driving. Bird watching. Guatape, you know what I mean? Guatape's nice. Bird watching as well? Oh, bird watching, yes, yes sir, yes sir. Yes sir. Um, Cards right here. We're in a card. Yeah. All right. What is this thing we're driving in? Moto taxi. Tuk tuk. Moto taxi. It's like a tuk tuk moto taxi. Uh -huh. It's a traditional uh, public transport in Guatape, San Rafael, San Carlos. And you guys call it tuk tuk. Moto taxi. You call it tuk tuk. <laughs> we call it moto taxi. <laughs> moto -taxi. Uh, right now we're just gonna drive around town. San Rafael is just, it's no, like, again, for the, the waterfalls, the monkeys and everything. It's just the environment, just the, the locals, just old school here. Uh, not a place to meet women, you know what I mean? But it's just, stay tuned, man. So we're about to go in here, right here, guys. This is like a mom-pop restaurant or bar, was it? But yeah, little bar, little something, something. All right, let's check it out. Let me get out of here. Rum and um, agua de ente. No tiene vodka. Vodka, vodka. No tiene nada. Solo agua de ente y rum. What's amazing is right, right here. What's amazing is what? The horses here. They bring, they bring horses. Come on, big boy. Hey, 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 hey. But they don't know it's like what horse is okay. So, uh, you come with your horse and you're tie it up right here. Trained. They're so trained here. They're even tired. All right. Let's see if we can get a shot. Uh, what are we doing now? Ron Calvis. Uh, more, this is Ron Calvis. This rum is made in Manazelas. Okay. Manazelas. Smooth rum. You know what I mean? I don't drink it. Tú eres paisa, pero de otro parte. Paisa, paisa. Sí. Nadie hay que ver. ¿Usted es paisa? No. Sí. ¿Y por qué? ¿Usted es paisa? ¿En serio? ¿Y por qué la gente viene aquí? Pues acá es muy turístico los ríos. Espectaculares, en serio. ¿Los ríos? Sí. Los balnearios. ¿Qué hacen? 
hacen la gente con los ríos? Vienen a hacer sancochos al río, sí. a tirar baño. La gente acá es súper acogedora, súper simpática. Ok. Lo el clima. Los fines de uh, esa semana que pasó, mucho rumbo. ¿Por Porque fue el puente de Reyes. Entonces acá en el pueblo se celebra la fiesta de Reyes Magos. Ok. Right here. All right, guys. So it's actually the next day. We were at that bar, and one drink turned to another drink, and we just ended up hanging out at the bar last night. Had a wonderful time. So we're gonna try this again. <laughs> That's how it is in some of these towns. It's like a cool, laid-back type of vibe. You know what I mean? So just wanted to soak it in. That's why I didn't really put some video. But we're gonna try it again and try to get it again this time. Right? Let's go. Again, again, again. <laughs> Uh, interesting enough, we are starting the day a lot earlier, so you get to see how the city looks in the morning. It's around 8 o'clock, so you can see people already are circling the park area. Normally, that's how it is in the town area. People go to the town square and hang out, talk. If they're not getting no food, nothing, it's just a spot to hang out. So this is the nucleus of the town and most towns, all right? Town square, all right? Restaurants here. We got a couple other restaurants you can check out as well. You know? What is your favorite part about this town? The mountains and the rivers. The mountain and rivers. Okay. Mountains. What about you, Biki? Uh, the monkeys, man. Okay. Yeah. Biki actually has monkeys <laughs> as neighbors. No, <laughs> literally. Pull over, real quick. Right. Uh, just the balcony. I mean, w when I cook my barbecue, that smoke flavor, they come. The video of the smoke monkeys is come. Yeah, they stay watching. Sorry, sorry. Tell me, respect yourself much, ba. So they come when they hear, they smell your they barbecue. Smell the food. They, they come. They just look. Oh, it's amazing. It's that they simple. come, but they don't come too close because this man has a lot of dogs, big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> How long you guys been living uh, in this um, town? Here in San Rafael, now the bed and breakfast. Yeah. Uh, funny, buying and owning. Honey, how long? Almost a year and six yeah, months? Yeah, almost two years. Almost two years, two years. Uh, wait, wait. Let me pull over. That's my name, Serkis. Hey, my baby. My mother tell you fix it. Take care of me. Take care of me. Take <laughs> oh, they got good coffee here. Buena Tito. Buena Tito aquí. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they got good coffee here. Buena Tito. Buena Tito aquí. Okay, yeah. No, 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 no. Ooh. Ooh, hot. Yeah, they serve these things extremely hot and the cups they serve them in is not an insulator. This is one of the most traditional coffee places in San Rafael and it's been here over 50 years. We saw billiard pool and a lot of old people come here for coffee. So they play pool uh, here. What's the name of the place? I don't even know, we just walked in. La Barra. La Barra. La Barra. It's more tra traditional. We've got a tradition of much water, but what's this key? 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 Oh, so there's a bird that laughs just like him, uh -huh. and that's the, the bird he has. Actually. And he's older than 25 years old. <laughs> that's his bird. It's around eight o'clock, maybe going on nine, and as you can see, there are already people inside the billiards area right here, and then the bar, the bar, just getting, just enjoying their time. People go to the bar early in the morning. <laughs> what, what do people do for living here? The people that come here tourists, they come for the bear watching, the waterfalls, the river, hiking, it's a lot of hiking mountains here. Is that the main economy here or what? No, they got agriculture. Hold on. 
as you can see here, look, we're back at the town square, and you can see just people hanging out, enjoying. I don't think they serve breakfast here. I might be wrong. They serve breakfast there? The yeah, they serve there. Actually, coffee, the, the coffee, the breakfast. beer. No, breakfast, no, more, more likely Koran is some snacks, empanada, bread. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, check out the cars oh, they got nice. here, guys. I'll, I'll look at this Jeep go. right here. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> we try to walk away from him, but he, he wants to keep serving us alcohol. What's up, doggy? All right, guys, so we're back on um, Binky's taxi. What is he owns this? Right? You can either get one or. He purchased his own because it's the best. It's the best way of getting around town. Yeah, it's faster. It's more comfortable. It's a small in the weekends, especially in San Rafael. The farmers, traditional farmers that live on the mountains, they come only on weekends, Saturday and Sundays, on the big Chiba bulls. So it's really crowd, a lot of traffic, and it's impossible being on a car. So this is so much better. This one with this car, you can actually weave around the traffic uh -huh. a lot easier. And save a lot of money on gas. Oh yeah, yeah. How much is it to fill? <laughs> like seven, ten bucks. Seven, ten bucks to fill it up. Okay, nice. And that'll last you a couple of days. Yeah. Nice. Right, they need a day too. Yeah. Uh, Guess what? Guess where I get all my dog food for my dogs. I have beasts. I have beasts. What type of dogs do you have? Ooh, German Shepherds, Bob. We have two German Shepherds, one Beagle, and one that is mixed on Golden Retriever and German Shepherd. So this is, is this the place you get your dog food or what uh -huh, is this? They got all the supplies for and farms and fincans. The horse, honey, the horse. Horses, horse food. Hey, no nice. goblin, no goblin. Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> Hello, man. How are you? Where are you going? We're going to go and talk to a guy of the tourism. Okay, so sometimes they alternate in driving. <laughs> so you have Valerie Drive and Biggie. <laughs> I just want her to drive. <laughs> Okay, so who is this guy? Okay, his name is Juan Gabriel. He belongs to the tourist, local tourist net, network of San Rafael. And basically, he can tell you more about it, but basically, it's a group of uh, people that make permaculture, they make uh, handmade things, they work with rocks, diamonds. And he got this place, for example, uh, it's a bed and breakfast, also, I think. And they protect the birds, the nature, okay. and promote the natural activity. Yeah, I can see in this building here, you, you got so many different birds. Interesting. How are you? Good, good. Okay. You speak English perfect, right? Yes. No, my English is not perfect. <laughs> I only try. No. Well, I wanted to know, um, what was the main economy here in um, San Rafael? We have um, a little group here in San Rafael. Uh, we name is uh, La Red Local de Turismo. See? Yes, and this is... Okay. Apenas ayer se me ocurrió porque es turismo, turismo auto sostenible y no la, no la pude encontrar. Bueno, entonces, bienvenido a Escape Natural, eso es Escape Natural en San Rafael. Eh, nosotros somos un, un gremio de asociados que nos llamamos la Red Local de Turismo. La Red Local de Turismo eh, trabaja por el turismo sostenible, turismo comunitario y, eh, muy importante también, el turismo de naturaleza. ¿cierto? Entonces, hemos estado trabajando y desarrollando el territorio de esa manera. Mm. San Rafael es un municipio pues, eh, que se, se ha desarrollado debido a la agricultura y a la minería mm, y esa ha sido pues, la, la forma de la economía aquí en San Rafael. Ahora estamos viendo el fenómeno del turismo, ¿sí? el turismo está impactando la región y está viniendo de, de buena manera y eso es lo que estamos haciendo nosotros, preparándonos para recibirlos. Eh, 
mmm, para que lleguen y encuentren los servicios que ustedes requieren, que requieren los turistas, ¿cierto? Eh, por eso pues tenemos lugares como este, este es mi lugar, esto es escape natural, a mí me conocen como Juan Gafri y lo que les ofrece escape natural es que tenemos avistamiento de aves y monotití, ¿cierto? Y lugar, un lugar de, de, de tranquilidad, ¿sí? Donde viene la gente a socializar, tiene pequeños espacios para reunirse, eh, más que todo vienen parejas y, y, y bueno, pues eh, vienen eh, a este espacio mmm, no, no con un propósito de, 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 de rumba, sino de, de estar tranquilos, solamente relajados. Mm -hmm. Bueno, entonces la gente viene aquí por el nature. El natural, sí. Ok. ¿Y qué tiene aquí? Uh, ¿Arbos? <risa> sí, pues ven, te voy a mostrar. Ok, let's do it. Aquí, aquí la gente viene, viene la allí. Ah. Tenemos un comedero para las aves. Wow. Vienen muchas aves. Vienen diferentes especies de aves. Y para eso, permíteme mostrarte. Nosotros hicimos el lanzamiento de esta guía de aves de San Rafael. ¿cierto? En la guía de aves, casi todas estas aves, algunas en, en algunos de nuestros emprendimientos se ven. ¿cierto? All those birds you can find here in um, San and Rafael. Uh -huh. And you found this guy in the local pharmacy too. Ok, you can find. Ok, cool. Sí. Alright, so what, what we got here? What type of birds we got here? Okay. Y también vienen los monos titis. Aquí hay los. Ah, uh, some monkey. Sí, the monkeys. Yeah, the monkeys are coming. Monkeys and they play around the this place. Nice. Eso es, eso es algo muy importante. Okay. Sure. So this is a perfect place for bird watchers. Uh, uh -huh. What about the river? Eh, bueno, los charcos, los ríos, los ríos aquí son muy cerca, realmente. Eh, estamos a menos de 200 metros para ir a conocer charcos y la gente puede nadar y puede escoger diferentes pozos para entrar, ¿cierto? Tenemos cascada muy cerca también, entonces hay rutas para ir a caminar y a hacer muchas cosas. Eso es pues como de, los, de, las, de la oferta que tiene San Rafael, que San Rafael tiene mucha naturaleza, entonces se puede caminar a través de las montañas, hay montañas altas, están los charcos, están las aves y además de eso tenemos como un pequeño agregado que también es muy muy importante es el tema de deportes de aventura aquí tenemos una actividad que se llama tubing mm. entonces con esa actividad nos hemos ido posicionando también y le hemos ido dando también importancia al lugar porque pues la gente viene el clima aquí es impredecible hay veces llueve y entonces como que pues que vamos a entrar lloviendo al agua al río pues nos da frío entonces nosotros tenemos tubing y con tubing pues por lo menos nos divertimos y la diversión también nos da adrenalina y entonces podemos hacerlo incluso si está haciendo frío no importa mira yo, yo fui a Minca Conozca Minca. Total, sí. eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de uh, Minca Colombia en San Rafael? Pues yo te invitaría para que nos siguieras en Instagram en, en escape natural San Rafael o Juan Gafri. Mm. Free de libre, no de gratis. <risa> eh, y ahí puedes ver los videos que, del tubing como lo hacemos. ¿Por qué es diferente? Porque, bueno, Minca es tranquilo, es relajado, es para uno comer en pareja y bueno, está bien, relajado. Mm. Pero aquí eh, tiene rápidos son rápidos y no se puede hacer mmm, rafting, no se puede hacer kayak, pero sí se puede hacer tubing. Mm, Entiendes nice. más o menos la idea. Yeah. Entonces es you un don't, poco, you un can't poco do that in uh, Minka. Uh -huh. There's no tubing over there, so yeah. What? All right, thank you. So Binky, man, um, it's been um, maybe a few years since I asked you why you moved out of America. Is that still the reason? What? What just? It's very expensive in the USA, obviously that. Right. I, you know, uh, retired police officer, so I have a pension. Right. But uh, food's my passion, you know what I mean? So, in the States, when I had my restaurant, honey, uh, and in the States, it's, you're out. The States is kind of expensive a little bit. And uh, here, it's just more, it's uh, the economy, just, it's less. So, the taxes, uh, basically, you, From what I'm gathering, it's the best financial move to make for a retire. Oh my God, Central South America. Oh, ah, it's, 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 it's so, dude, it's just not relaxing. Something that you can afford if you do have some type of pension. You know what I mean? It allows you to enjoy the money because retiring in the States, you still gotta pay for, you know. Taxes in general, but, but Here still, I pay for taxes here. Uh, what are you doing? What you got to do? Weather. <laughs> More tropical weather. Yeah, that's Happy what you said last time. You like the weather uh, well, in this area. Yeah, I like the stations. The stations in Yasen are so bad. It's more tropical and the 
the culture, the people is nice. Okay. <laughs> I guess for you, Vicky, it's more about maximizing your retirement. And the best way to do that is to live outside of the United States where your, your money can be stretched longer. So that way you can really enjoy your retirement. But I'm worrying about having to, you know, budget too much. And you can really like dive into your retirement and enjoy it the next time. Yes, I agree. Let's go down there. Can we? Yeah. yeah. It's a place there. Yeah. 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 yeah we can do it. So where are we going now? Uh, this is one of the entrances of the river. Oh. This is a, you are nature, take care of the river. So like people can come here and make bars, cook, see the river, you can fish, look at this. Oh wow! It's a so, cool bridge. This is, we're on a bridge right now. Man, this is beautiful. Wow, this is super beautiful. Oh my God, this is amazing right here. And then you guys, do you sell flowers right here? Yeah. Uh -huh, that flowers must be loaded. Wow. December and January is the season of them, like being blossom like that. Oh, okay. Wow. They're gonna be in front of the house, like big, big, big. So when it rains, it gets, it can reach uh, up to yeah, here? You can see this is clear from the rain, look full of um, leaves. The water when it is wow. drop. Oh man. Guys, in this area, you can actually see some very expensive homes behind the brush. Since a lot of um, Colombians have chosen to make this place their home to stay or vacation, you can hear. Look at that house. I don't even know that's a house or it's, it's beautiful and it's fairly new, but you can tell based on its construction looks fairly new. Bueno, pues. Hey. Bueno, pues.
Uh, that's cool to see that they still have a, a lot of farmers here and that's how they make a living. I've talked to farmers in this country before and basically from what I gather is they're okay with the lifestyle they live. Little government, living off of the land and not having to deal with the outside big world. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle that some people can't understand, especially without internet. Uh, but some people prefer that, that type of lifestyle. So what is this? A house. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie just asked this guy, "Hey man, I want to see your house." It's, you know, just looking around and He's seeing like, all this. Bang on, bang on. <laughs> all right, let's go. Wow, it's so tropical here. This camera doesn't give it any justice. See. Oh man. Find it. Find it. And uh, this, oh, okay, this is where one of the locals live, I think. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, inside. Look at this. This amazing garden right here. This is, look at this, this vegetation all over. Wow. And someone lives here. Or is this a house? This is a hotel or a house? No, it's a house. That's a house. Wow. Oh man, just, just Buenas, looking at the, the style. And then, tell me, look at this. This. He must be the gardener, the head gardener. No, no, no. No, this is What is this? That's his house. This is his house. Oh, wow. Bonito. You take hombre. You take hombre. I have Indian muscle. Don't. I have. Dig him. Dig Wow, he's the one that designed all this garden? This is a Yes, this is my house and he is a jardin, wow. That is taking advantage of his pension. Wow. The entrance of the restaurant is there, but you can if he's going to allow Matica de coca. Pero pero una fue nomás jardín. No, no tengo pues negocio. Aquí. No negocio. Is that the the lease? Coca. Let me check the motor tax. Hey, remember I supposed to go somewhere at one o'clock. I know. No, we have time. We have time. Okay. Ah, bueno. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You want to go in? I get the wife outside, man. I got to my wife, bro. Let me pregunta. Bro, bro, bro. Señora. Hola, señora. El restaurante está abierto. Sí. We good. They took the food. Bueno. Oh, cordero. So we end up walking into this random pool spot <laughs> in the area based off of Biggie's curiosity to come into a place. The guy kind of freaked us out because he's like, yeah, go, go, go. We were like, where the hell are we? <laughs> so we don't know. ¿Qué, qué tiene la carta hoy? Pescado. 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 Fish. Oh. Fish, fish. No sé si uh, hacer el un pan, pan asada. 
pescado pa... pescado eh, asado eh, empanada asada como ro... ah, eh. sin huesos como... ah sí, sin hueso eh, hay una sin mucho hueso ah ok una sin mucho hueso oh, okay. la piel roja pero ese viene con hueso o sí. Pero es fácil de comer, no, no es no. Oh. Bueno, déjeme. ¿Qué te está con mi amigo? ¿Qué está pasando? <risa> We're over here. Bienvenido, bien fuera. Están las peceras. Alright, thank you. No sé qué pasando, te. Alright, so guys, um, yeah, we end up entering <laughs> something. Awesome. I, I guess this is this house helps serves the community of people who uh, come hiking around this path and they advertise right in front of uh, the walking area and that yeah, people come here and enjoy food. Not bad eating some fish in this area though. So guys check this out. They got are making homemade, homemade jam. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's what? They're making it with strawberries. What is this? Eh, there. Mm. Ah, no, so Jamaica sweet. flour. Jamaica flour. Okay. With a flour? So Yo, this so is so sweet. Right here. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> she got one that's rice. She a Korean rice. She looks Wow, guys, so this is an impressive stove. Check it out. It's the size of it. And um, <laughs> Biki can't, uh, he has to expect the whole, he's just hijacked the whole kitchen. <laughs> he, he, he wants to hijack the kitchen. <laughs> All right guys, so uh, we're gonna try one of the rapers they have here. <laughs> so, so far, not bad. I would prefer it like, when it's fresh, <laughs> the crust is a lot better, but this side is good. Now we're gonna try some hot sauce. Se van a grabar todo, 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 todo lo que hace, ya. lo que come, lo que disfruta, grabando, grabando, ¿Ah? <laughs> grabando todo. ¿Ah? This is so good, guys. It's really good. Uh -huh. He wants to show me something. Hold on. Una casita en el aire. Ah, the tree house he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Ya lo ven. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. They got ducks here. Ganzo. Mira. <laughs> Nice. Bravo. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Pican. Ooh. I guess they're telling me to stay away. Están en proceso de construcción. Apenas lo están haciendo. See if this is. I them. <laughs> so the bear was gonna tag me, wow. <laughs> they put their beak down and like they threw a charge at you. This is Jamaican flower. The same one they are using to make the jelly. 
Ay, but they rico. also make cold tea with it. Rico. So he's so gonna give you some to try. It's all natural. Wow. So Biggie he just hijacked this kitchen. Poquito, poquito, poquito. Poquito, poquito. Poquito. Done. Done. Because it's just the, the flavor. Watch. So finally understood what he was doing. He's telling them to just prep the food early and so don't overcook anything. Just cook it and have it ready for customers, uh, especially the type of food that people always order. Hey. This is the prep you get for the, the steak. To the end of this area, they have a pond there. You think there's fish in there? Uh, you already know. Oh, yeah, I can see the fish here. Wow. That's, yeah, they look like koi though. It's not, it's not koi, it's, it's a tilapia. They call this here in uh, Colombia, it's a tilapia rojo. It's red tilapia, where the bone, it's less bones, but it's long bones. Okay, so, okay. Nice. Tilapia rojo, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So with the yellow, it looks like they have some yellow uh, trimming on the top? Yeah, or? well, because, you know, tilapia is brown in, you know, USA. But this tilapia is tilapia rojo. It's red tilapia. Ah. Tilapia rojo. Tilapia roja. Cachama. Cachama, si. Si. Equal. Wow, look at this. Yeah, you can see way more uh, fish here. Uh, I wonder what, oh yeah, this this to keep the pool clean. They put this whole net here because of all that vegetation falling. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's awesome. Yeah. Look at this. Look at like this tomato. Yes, <laughs> it. Make sure you say the right thing. Yeah. Look at this little goat right here. Mm. What's some hat? Oh. It's already. I'll cook that. I wanna. What is this big? Uh, Totumo. Uh huh. Sure? They use. Uh huh. I'm sure. They dry that and they scrape everything and make balls like this. So. Oh, like okay. This. The balls. So I see. Yeah, something so. similar like this. So, so there's nothing to eat in there? No. Or maybe some people do. So. Wow. Pinky cook. Pinky cook. You're in coconut sauce and everything. Yeah. So what is this again right here? Jamaican flour. So it's Jama Jamaica uh -huh. flour. And this is their, I guess. They use it for the jelly and the tea. Wow, so that's very uh, fruitful drink I just dropped. Came and from. it's full of uh, protein, like a lot of healthy stuff. Not bad. After visiting the farm, we went back to my friend's bed and breakfast. It's a finca outside of the town of San Rafael. It's a very humblesome, tranquil place. You feel like you're off the grid, but don't worry. Yes, there is Wi-Fi and cable just in case you need that. Located right in front of the river, it's the perfect place to relax. I ended up spending a couple days there. One of my favorite parts was the food, of course. One thing you have to know about the place, you're not gonna go hungry. If you're visiting San Rafael and you wanna visit the river firsthand and just be off the grid, this is a perfect place to visit. I'll leave the information in the description if you're trying to book. Alright, what you got going on here? Uh, always for you, man. Uh, some potato salad, make some candy amps, barbecue, coleslaw, potato salad, baby. <laughs> Just making some snacks. A little bit. Little making bit. a snack for your boy. Snacks right here. So look, check this out, guys. I got some, like a fondue, like cheese platter here. Okay, with some assorted types of meat. This is like gourmet and country style right here. Get your girl one, baby. All right. Zoom in on the candy yams, huh? That's how we do it, baby. Sometimes it's so hard to 
It's, it's clear. We had rain last night. The ghetto respecto usted! The ghetto! Alright guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. I think it would be appropriate um, in front of uh, Binky's uh, bed and breakfast. But look at this beautiful river view he has. But uh, you wanted to br bring up the restaurant. Can't beat Binky's meat. <laughs> in the States, I'll get sued. Here, it's all love. Uh, soft barbecue, can't beat Binky's meat, Binky's barbecue, Binky's bread and breakfast. You guys, please come through uh, Instagram, Binky's BBQ, mi amor. Right there. Oh. And thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching the video, you guys. Much love and respect, but also the bed and breakfast. Uh, Ace, thank you, my brother, for coming through. And uh, not for, let's not forget to mention the restaurant is in front of the rock. It's not in San Rafael. It's in Guatape, in front of the huge rock. You'll know if you come to Guatape, you already know what rock we're yeah, talking about. Gu Guatape, I mean, in Colombia, it's one of the most tourist spots in the country of Colombia. I'm right there at the rock, you guys. But contact me because I literally I'll come through. Let me, my food's crazy, but let me come through and just spoil you with something a little different. Uh, spaghetti, I mean, come on, talk to me, mama. Sushi, soul Su food, pizza. Sushi, I'm gonna get yeah. sushi. <laughs> <laughs> go crazy. He gonna make it, but he yeah. <laughs> had a sushi restaurant. But I mean, like gumbo, jambalaya, but that's not on the menu. But the menu's pretty cool, you know what I mean? But thank you, Ace, for coming through. No problem, Respect man. you so much. You know every year I gotta come through. Uh, <laughs> all right, yo. Respect uh, you, man. Yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One thing I noticed about Vicky is how he's such a, a people person. Everybody gravitates to him or, I mean, he won't hesitate to introduce himself in the most respectful way, seeing it over and over again. In the presence of people, particularly other men, and he's walking into a room, he'll, he'll probably go to one of the elder guys in the room and give that person a nice handshake and you know show love and everybody around sure enough you'll notice that be like oh okay that guy's cool he's not one of the, uh, he's not gonna act crazy and so I think one thing I probably learned from um, greeting people depending on where I'm at is by giving people what it eats which means is you know that's what I noticed about Vicky how he'll go like hey what's up wow I think that's his strategy and the way he uses to break barriers between a person, regardless of language barriers. Everybody understands this is pointing it, most likely saying I'm coming from the heart, whatever language that was. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.